Oh, hey. I'm Bill Ney. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. This is our fabulous lobby. This is such a great space. We've got nice high ceilings. This is a new addition to our lobby. We have three wonderful monitors. It shows all three channels at once. Some of our pictures here, you see we have history recorded. Um, some of the early days of activities here at Shrewsbury Media Connection, back when it was known only as SPAC. Here's our award wall. Um, one of our awards here, we honor a community producer of the year, one person who has stood out over the course of the past year. And we've been giving out this award now for about 17 years. Some of these other awards are individual awards to different producers. This was a regional contest. Um, this is our national contest, the Hometown Video Festival. Monica Mansfield has won a bunch. Um, the Government Channel won one here for Inside the Mountain View Cemetery. And the one we're most proud of is right here, our 2005 winner of the Overall Access Award for PE and G Access, Public Educational Government Access. This award means that we are the best of the best. Let's move on. We're going to go into the Community Producers Room. Oh, before we go, we've got a little bulletin board here. Uh, we post any kind of access center jobs that are available in the area. You see there's quite a few different towns around here. If you want to work at the Cape, that's open. Um, Mark Sarah gets a lot of uh, thank you cards from the Cub Scouts. We do, uh, last year we set a record. We did nine Cub Scout tours in the month of July, I mean January and February. So yeah, they're cute. They make little pictures from Mark, draw studios, stuff like that. Um, this is a little news bulletin. This is a former intern up here who's now working in public access out in uh, Danvers, I believe. And uh, some of our award winners, different press releases that we put out. All right, you ready for the producer's room? Come on. So this is the producer's room. This is kind of like the all-purpose room. Right now it's empty, but usually there's a, a, it's a hub of activity. We have um, meetings in here. Why, well, yesterday afternoon there was 16 people crammed into here. Uh, there's a couple of edit stations here. Usually you'll see somebody like Maria sitting here. Uh, she edits those magical government shows that she does. On this side, uh, another edit station for the public to use. Uh, they don't look like much, they're just computers. Over here is uh, Mark's area. Hi, Mark. Oh, where'd you go? And uh, so Mark does all his business over there. Uh, let's show you a little bit of this room. This is our equipment room and tech bench. And uh, you see our uh, selection of cameras available, tripods, microphones, mixers, you name it, we have it. Cables, got to have lots of cables. Okay, before we go any further, I got to put up the warning, the disclaimer. If you're under 18, you can't come in this room. This is the workbench. Paul's the area. He does his own magic here. Uh, as you can see, you know, he only works eight hours a week, so it's tough to keep up with it. We got stuff to fix, we got stuff to break. We got old stuff, new stuff, everything is in here. And uh, we unpack it, we gotta install it, connect it all together. This is the room where we really try to keep the door shut. We hide everything in here. But uh, we do have some neat things. People have donated these old-fashioned camcorders. This is an early camcorder. You say, wow, it's kind of small. Well, the part that's missing is the whole tape recorder. You had to attach a tape recorder to this. This is just the camera part. And uh, people would have a cam uh, tape recorder over their shoulder in the olden days. Those were the good old days. Let's get out of here. It doesn't smell, but it's dirty. Oh, hi, Liz. Here's Liz pretending to be on the phone. Good job, Liz. Ladies' room. They get a chair in their room. I don't know why. Men's room. We actually get a shower. This is for the cable guys that stop in early in the morning sometimes. One of my favorite spots, the kitchen. And, you know, of course, everybody has to see the fridge. So come on into the kitchen. It's more of a kitchenette. Uh, we have our little microwave. A banana that always sits on top. Paul Gustafson worked last night. So, Chris, I, I, I tried to stop him. I didn't want to let him eat that much, but, you know, what can I say? Uh, he didn't drink all the soda, at least. And, uh, so, are you ready? 
Here we go, refrigerator. Uh, you know, we got your basic stuff. It seems like every work refrigerator has like a jar of peanut butter that sits there for months, years. Who knows how long this has been in here. I think it expired about a year ago. Uh, gotta have a vitamin water. Our other thing, you know, the dressing we bought when we were in the salad mode. Bought some dressing, one salad. This is also about a year old. Uh, let's see what's in this bag here. Brown paper bags, always dangerous. That's my meat and cheese. I'm on a healthy diet. <laughs> meat and cheese in a brown paper bag. And uh, a little bit of leftover pizza. Uh, you know, it's actually a pretty good shape. Usually you open it up and something crawls out of there. So. Got our free cookies. Lots of cookies always around here. Our coffee pot. Uh, we recycle. And uh, I guess that's it. Let's go to the next room. All right, now this next part we're about to show you where all the magic happens. These next few rooms. So we're going to go in the first one. This is the edit room. You can tell by the sign on the wall. Now, uh, it's kind of neat because in the olden days, you know, I like to talk about the olden days, this whole wall was full of equipment. And now with technology, it's all been squeezed into this one little box right here. So everything's done in the computer nowadays. And uh, I gotta show you this. This is one of my favorite new toys here. We have this new uh, sort of set table and people can come in and design different tables and stuff. And uh, you can get your news team. You can get the people, you can put them out there. There's Liz, there's Maria, there's Laurie. No. Of course, AC's got his very own. And uh, this must be me standing there. So that's pretty tall, I'm pretty tall. So this is pretty cool. You can design this and then we'll show you the real table when we get into the studio. So you take these little toys here. Got different tabletops, and uh, it's kind of fun. And then you can kind of, I don't know, like when you're a little kid, smash them, smash them, smash them. Oh, I love to do that. Okay, first of all, before we move on, here's our little calendar. This is the schedule. You can see, you know, people are in here. Nobody touches this except Mark and myself. Now this is the calendar for the studio, and uh, again, we're booking into uh, March and April already, even May, look at that. So uh, pretty busy place. This is how we keep track of it all. Again, staff only touches this. Remember that. So here's the control room. This is where the studio magic happens. It's kind of uh, like the central brain trust of the whole place. Um, I can do things like move up this one little button and wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's the lighting board. So you can play with the lights. You can do lots of cool tricks with these. Uh, let's put the chase on. Look at that. Turn it into a disco out there. Wow. And on and on. So there's the lighting board. There's some uh, microphones, CD player. This is one thing that every musician loves. They see this old soundboard here and just fall in love with it. It's ancient technology. It makes it cool, you know. Uh, this is where it all converges though. We, we have a director who sits here. They select the different camera shots. Uh, I want to point something out to you. We have three major computers in here. We have a PC back there, an Amiga, for those of you who have ever heard of those, and then an Apple over there. So, pretty cool. Three computers in one space. All have their own little job and function. Uh, over here, again, there's monitoring equipment, so we know what's what, how it looks. We don't just look at it, we gotta read the meters and so forth. So, pretty cool. Uh, back here, we have a room, audio booth. Uh, you just missed somebody, some girl was in there doing a voiceover. So anyway, there's a voiceover room, uh, doubles as storage, and some old video editing stuff in there too. 